Thank you, Mayor, members of the Council. Uh, this is a request to approve a contract for the relocation of underground utilities uh, for the West Hill Avenue overpass project. Approximately a year ago, uh, the utility department learned that we would be required to relocate all our underground water and sewer infrastructure on this project. Uh, immediately, we uh, went out to bid for uh, local engineers to do design work for the relocation. We selected Innovate Engineering as the low bidder. Uh, then we entered into constant communication with DOT on the design for relocation. Towards the end of that design project, we learned, as well as the other utilities, that we would all have to purchase our own easements. Uh, we could no longer use uh, GDOT easements uh, as they only had enough for their work. So in the past uh, few months, we've been working on acquiring 16 easements. We've got about 10 of them secured to date. Three were waiting on final execution. Uh, and there's one holdout, I think. Uh, and we're going to be meeting with GTOT tomorrow uh, to talk about maybe uh, squeezing something in on one of the reasons for that property. Uh, the contract was awarded to uh, Reams and Sun Construction Company with a notice to proceed on October 1st, 2012. The project has to be completed by November 15th, 2014. Due to delays uh, with uh, easements as well as the complications dealing with uh, uh, road closures and openings, traffic control, coordination of all the activities during the process. The utility department uh, did, not have, did not go out to bid on this project. Uh, There's only two actual uh, contractors, local contractors, that could be on, bid on it. Uh, it's Rodney Plumbing and Standard Contractors. They're, they're the only ones certified by DOD to do that work. Actually, both contractors are working on this job because of the uh, amount of work that has to be done. Uh, the recommendation of the department is to uh, award the contract uh, to construction, uh, construction relocation of water and sewer utilities to range and sun construction and the amount of $1,397,823.36. We're asking for a 20% contingency. It says 10% on the agenda item because there are a lot of unknowns out there when they get into the underground uh, system. Uh, we reviewed all the bid items, so the bid, uh, the utility department and innovative engineering reviewed all uh, the bid items, the materials, et cetera. They were in compliance with what typically these materials would cost. Uh, so uh, that, that's why we're recommending it. I'd be happy to answer any questions.